Hello guys, welcome back to the second TikTok video and in this video I'm going to discuss about uh, um, important stuff and that deals with uh, things you try to develop in Android application. Well, things in the sense, they are just software packages which are needed to be installed in your personal computer before developing an Android application. Well, uh, the first thing which is required to do so is JDK or Java Development Kit. Second thing is Android Studio and the third thing is Programming Experience. Well, talking about Java Development Kit, it's nothing but a software which helps you to develop any kind of Java application. Well, if you are going to run any Java application, you definitely need to install this JDK in your PC. The next thing is Android Studio. Coming to Android Studio, it's also nothing but a software. Uh, but uh, for the kind, it's an integrated development environment software or an IDE software which enables you to develop other softwares. In this case, this Android Studio helps you to develop, run, compile, debug and uh, test your Android apps. Well, the next thing is programming experience and it is not a software or down downloadable stuff and you need definitely to have this programming experience in order to develop an Android application. Without programming experience, you cannot develop any kind of application. So in order to develop an application, oh, you need to learn about programming, definitely. Without that, you can't do anything. Well, uh, these are the things required actually. Now let us jump into the download and installation part. Uh, uh, both J Java Development Kit and Android Studio are available for all platforms, platforms in the sense all our operating systems. Well, you just need a browser to download those things. Those are open source and free ones. You need not pay any money to download those stuffs. First of all, let us uh, download Java Development Kit. Well, I have attached the link for downloading Java Development Kit in the description, but. Uh, it may change in future, so just Google for JDK in case if you cannot find the stuff in the link. Go down, accept the license agreement, and after accepting that, see a list of packages available. And in the list of packages available, you need to choose the package or the file based on your operating system. If you are having a Linux operating system, you need to download the package meant for Linux. If you are having Windows, then you need to download the file for Windows. Well, talking about Windows or Linux, there are two types of operating systems, 32-bit uh, architecture and 64-bit architecture. So, you definitely need to know the uh, architecture of your operating system before downloading this. In my case, I have a 64-bit operating system. Well, after downloading JDK, you need to download Android Studio. Android Studio is uh, a heavier file when compared to JDK. Size of JDK is only around 1.9 GB, but in this case, Android Studio weighs more than about 1.1 GB. I'll just click on the download tab in the Android Studio homepage and download Android Studio. Before downloading Android Studio, just go through the system requirements. Uh, requ uh, required to install Android Studio because if your personal computer or laptop lacks one of the things then downloading is merely a waste of time and data so after going through the system requirements just click on the download button to download android studio and it is a 1 gb file as i said before so you need to wait patiently well after downloading both jdk and android studio it's time to install both things well, when it comes to installing, uh, Java Development Kit doesn't need anything or any special packages during installation. So you can just click on the exe file and you can just install it. But when it comes to Android Studio, uh, it prompts you to install some packages. It prompts you to download some packages before installation or at the time of installation. And you definitely need to do so because without those packages, Android Studio cannot function properly. Now first let us step into the step of installing Java Development Kit. Well, in case if you want to change the installation folder, you can browse and change it. Uh, but uh, the main thing, just make a note of that uh, installation folder because we need that installation folder uh, later. Click on next and uh, after that you are free to go. Uh, installation of Java development kit takes more time or less time based on your computer situation uh, so after installing java development kit well now just close the installer exe and step into your computer uh, that is your drive where you have actually installed your jdk in my case it's inside program files java folder just go into the installation folder and copy 
the path that is uh, my case it's c colon slash program file slash java slash jdk one point something 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 after copying it right click on your computer icon and click on system properties inside system properties click on advanced system settings uh, now what we are going to do is we are going to create an environment variable uh, this environment variable is meant for your Android Studio because as I said before every Java based application needs uh, the JDK or Java development kit to compile, execute, debug, etc. etc. things with the Java file. So in the same way your Android Studio needs to know where the Java development kit or the JDK is installed actually. So in order to uh, make the IDE you know the location of JDK you need to create an environment variable and you need to uh, name it as java underscore home in the variable value text box uh, you need to paste the installation folders path or the link which you have copied earlier well after pasting it just click on ok and uh, that's it we are done with initializing or creating the environment variable after creating the environment variable what you need to do is it's the main thing it's the time to unleash the beast uh, which means just you need to install the Android Studio. Uh, installing Android Studio, it's really a heavy file, and I promise you, I challenge you that you will really lose your patience installing that file. So, I'll just select all the packages and click next. As if you want to go through what those packages are meant for, just go through the description. Agree the license agreements, and after agreeing the license agreements, if you need to change the path, you can change the installation path of uh, Android Studio and uh, why not the SDK too. Well, after changing the locations and after choosing the installation location, just click next, and after that, next, and click on install. See, as I said before, it will take a really long time, so be patient, be patient, be patient, and after installing Android Studio, you need not do anything. It's the time to develop your own Android application. But there is a single stuff before that. I will explain you what it means after installing. Well, that's it completed. Uh, I skipped the installation part. So, after installing, you need to go to the folder or the path where you installed Android Studio. And uh, inside that, there will be two executable files. I will show you inside the bin folder. There will be two executable files studio.exe studio64.exe. So, if you are having a 32 bit uh, operating system, under Studio will automatically run if you double click or if you open that studio.exe file. But if you are having a system uh, with 64 bit operating system, you need to open that studio64.exe. Well, in the first startup, uh, just right click on that and just select run as administrator so that you can run it without any problem well this is the initialization screen at the first startup it will take a uh, usually long time to load so you need to be patient for that too uh, on the first startup Android Studio will ask you to download other packages too as I said before so you need to have an active internet connection to download those add-on packages uh, that will not take much time well, after downloading that SDK add-on packages you are free to go and after downloading and installing those SDK packages uh, your Android Studio will directly skip to the Android Studio setup wizard and uh, uh, this is the Android Studio setup wizard. Go into configure and here's the thing is DK manager. These things contains the add-on packages which Android Studio has downloaded before. So talking about this thing, and SDK is an abbreviation of software development kit. Well, in this case, it's Android software development kit. Here it has all the SDK tools which are needed to uh, develop your Android application. Now it's time to start your new Android project. Click on the start new Android project and here it comes. So this is the application name here you can specify it. This is the company domain name. Talking about this company domain name. This the company domain name is actually considered in case of Play Store. Um, this will help the Play Store server to differentiate between applications. So that there won't be any dummy or duplicate for any applications. Uh, this thing so please specify it with the unique company domain name well usually start it with your company name so that it won't be present in play store 
here you can change your project location or workspace click on next here if you're going to develop your android application with minimum requirement of android uh, ice cream sandwich you can select that in case if you want to change it to android gingerbread or honeycomb or whatever it may be you can change it here too well this is the minimum sdk requirement as i said before uh, if you change this then your application will run only in as a uh, ice cream sandwich and its later operating systems if you're going to develop your android app for phone or tablet you can check that in case if you're going to develop it for your android watch or android wear you can check that and based on your uh, mode of compatibility you can select different devices or different gadgets after selecting that click next well usually uh, in your first startup if you have no idea what you're going to develop you can just go with the blank activity click next and after clicking next click just finish and after clicking finish just have a look at your own android app well here you can change the coding you can customize the coding structure you can give new codings you can add new components and you can develop your own android application in a simple way or in an advanced way uh, telling frankly i'm not an experienced or great android developer so i have no experience with and uh, advanced standard coding in case if you want to learn more about android application development you can go through other channels in youtube where you can read other reference articles from uh, by just googling it personally i use uh, slide nuts android video tutorial and uh, the new boston's android tutorial playlist well guys that's it well if you like our work then just like this video or in case in future if you want to stay connected with us just subscribe for our channel bye guys